In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly terminate the DC power cable for WTM and then also install the ground kits on the DC power cable. The first step is to remove the DC connector from the bottom of the radio. From the factory, the DC connector is pre-installed and is set up for PoE. Our first step is to take a small flat blade screwdriver and we're going to unscrew this connector and remove it from the radio. Once the connector has been removed, you'll notice there are two black jumpers in here. And this is what's installed to be able to jump the power for PoE power. Our goal is to power the radios with DC power, so we need to first remove these two jumpers. In order to do that, you want to take your small flat blade screwdriver and we're going to push down on the orange tabs to release the jumper wires. We'll push down, you'll hear a small click, push down the other side and you do this a couple of times and that is slowly releasing this. Now it's spring-loaded so this may pop out. Press it a few more times and get it to completely release. Okay, the next step is to install the green connector on the end of our DC wire. Before we start, we're going to take our weatherproof gland and we're going to slide this over the cable and push this down out of the way. That'll be important to bring that back before we put on the ground strap. Next step is to measure two inches back from the end, or 50 millimeters, and we're going to mark this spot. Use some yellow tape here. In this first section we're going to remove the outer jacket. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and just mark all the spots where we need to remove the outer jacket. The next one is going to be 10 inches in from the end, we're going to put our next marking. Now this is where the ground strap is going to go. I like doing about 10 inches for our installation so that everything lines up. We get to our ground bus bar, but you can do it at any length you want. Typically you don't want to do it any longer than 3 feet, that's how long our longest ground wires will be. So I'm going to measure 10 inches in from the end. this spot again. From here we're going to measure two more inches or 50 more millimeters between our tape and we'll mark this spot. This is where our ground wire is going to connect into. Okay, the next step is to remove the outer jacket from the first two inches of the wire. So what we'll do is we'll take our wire cutters and we're going to gently score the outer jacket Careful not to go too deep. We don't want to get into our center conductors or our shielding. So you score it and then you bend it slightly. And you'll be able to see that inner braid get exposed. Make sure that the outer jacket is completely clear and free all the way around. And once we've done that, now we're going to make one long cut along the center, and that will make it easier to remove this outer jacket. Okay, so our outer jacket is peeled away. We want to remove this outer braided shield. And also underneath here is our ground conductor. So we're going to Get all those strands, twist them together, and we're going to cut that off also. Okay, lastly, we've got our foil that we need to twist off and remove this. So once we remove the foil, now we've got our two conductors. At this point, our two conductors are exposed. And then we're going to put a small piece of heat shrink tubing just to uh, seal up this end. So I'll install that now. And with our heat gun we'll just shrink this down. Okay, now we've got that shrunk down. We need to remove exactly one centimeter of insulation off the end of our conductors. So I'll measure that again. 
one centimeter. Take our wire strippers. And now what we want to do is twist our wires together so that the bundle is completely together. There are no loose strands sticking out. We want them to be tightly twisted together all the way to the end. At this point we're ready to put them into the connector. Now if we look at our connector, and we look at our wiring diagram, we're going to make sure we insert our wires into the correct holes. So in order to do this, we're going to insert both wires at the same time and we're not going to press on these orange tabs. The way that these connectors work is you can push the wire in and it will lock in place. Uh, and then you press the orange tab to release it if you want to remove it. So making sure again we have no stray wires, very straight, we get the proper orientation, we get both of the wires started. Once they're in the hole, we're going to gently push forward and you'll feel them go into the connector and right up to the insulation. So there should be no exposed wires. And now that is actually securely put onto the connector. Next step is to hook up our ground. What we want to do is take our weatherproof gland and slide that forward. This is an important step. This needs to be forward of where the ground is going to go in. So where we had marked there are two yellow pieces of tape. Again, we're going to score all the way around the outside on both sides of this and remove the center piece. So again, very carefully with our wire cutters, we're cutting that outer jacket but not going too deep. Okay, once we can see the braided shield all the way around on both ends of the cable, we're going to make it again a long slice down the middle and that will remove the outer jacket. There we've removed the outer jacket. We want to make sure that that braided shield is in place. The next step is to take our ground strap and we're going to put that over the cable. Now we'll take our ground strap and we'll take off the two brass nuts and brass lock washers. And we're going to install this onto the ground strap. So now we've got our ground strap attached onto our cable. The next step is we need to weather seal this. So the first step in weather sealing, we're going to take our butyl rubber. We're going to cut off a few pieces of this, about two inches long, or 50 millimeters. We'll take our first piece of butyl rubber, and we're going to put this in between our DC power cable and the ground cable. Slide this in between the two, making sure we get right up to the bottom of where the ground strap is. Fold this around. Well, as we do this, we want to make sure that we're working out all of the air bubbles. We're going to form this around the cable. So the next step is to take another piece, and we're going to go on the top side with the ground cable. There's no air bubbles. Now we'll just cover the rest of this with butyl. We're completely sealed now, so we go from the outer jacket all the way down, completely covering our connection in here. Now the next step is we're going to put three layers of electrical tape on the outside. We want to start on the actual jacket of the cable. We want to be at least one inch or about 25 millimeters beyond the edge of the butyl. And then as we come around with our tape, we want to overlap about half the width of the tape. We're going to make three passes over this. Okay, so now we've uh, put the green connector on the end of the DC wire. We've heat shrink this to seal it up at the end. 
We have our weatherproof boot stuck on the bottom and then we've got our ground strap connected in to our cable system. Next step is to install this on the radio. So we're going to do that next. Okay, I've now taken it, I've installed our ground wire onto the bus bar. The next step is to take the DC power connector and insert it into the bottom of the radio. Once that's installed, I'm going to tighten down the two screws. Okay, I've got the DC connector tightened, both screws are tightened down. At this point, we're going to take our pack of silicone grease and we're going to put a small amount of silicone right around this O-ring. Once we've got the silicone on, we'll bring up our weatherproof fitting and make sure it's straight and we'll screw this in the bottom of the radio. Next, we're going to bring up the bottom piece and it's got a compression fitting which will weather tight the cable. Once that's secured, we're going to take our zip tie and put it through the slot to hold the cable in place. And that completes the installation of the DC power connector, the ground strap onto our bus bar, and now we're ready to power up the WTM radios.